A video of a woman posted on TikTok. Users there are saying that she has monkeypox, but she actually lives with a completely different chronic condition. And News 12's Caitlin Ulrich spoke with the woman who turned around the narrative by standing up for herself. I'm really just so normal other than this. <laughs> Lily Simon's TikTok really does look typical. A few hundred likes and videos of her playing with filters. Nothing all that serious or even viral until this week. I will not let any y'all reverse the years of therapy and healing that I had to endure to deal with the condition and of course who exist around people like you. Lily spent last Sunday crafting a response to a video somebody else took of her on the train. She didn't know she was recorded, and she didn't know the person would later post to TikTok and suggest she had monkeypox. The rest of the comments were, ew, we got to get out of the city, monkeypox. Oh, she's dirty. Oh, why is she on the train? She's sitting weird. Lily lives with neurofibromatosis type 1, which creates mostly benign tumors beneath the skin. The condition is caused by mutations in the NF1 gene, meaning it's not contagious. It's not like monkeypox at all. It does not prove anyone at, uh, uh, predisposes to any type of infection. And, and even with monkeypox, the lesions are not always um, on the face and they're not always as visible and monkeypox lesions tend to be um, more tender. You know, I've come a long way and I like me. The original video posted of her has since been deleted and the account can't be found. I never could have predicted this type of outcome, this type of support. Though, as Lily puts it, this experience reminds her of the days she couldn't defend herself against bullies. Unlike now, a time where she can stand up for but all. The adult you are is who you would have felt safe with as a kid. And that kind of hits hard. And I kind of wish I did know someone who would have done that. what I did. In Brooklyn, Caitlin Ulrich, News 12.